So here we go, we're back. As you can see, it has loaded in the higher resolution version of the model that was created from the images. There's a lot of programs that are on the internet right now that will actually generate uh, geometry like this from stereographic images. Uh, one of them called AGSoft Stereo Scan and Photo Scan does a little better job with the geometry reconstruction, so you'll get like some a little bit nicer kind of uh, high-res mesh details. This program, though, hands down, has the best diffuse quality as any of the ones that I've found so far. The you can see how it's just brilliantly stitched all those uh, images that I took of the stump together, and it's like perfectly clean, well blended together, and you still get a lot of detail out of the image. So even though we only get you know not the strongest actually mesh resolution on this, we can take this texture and use it as a bump map across the model to kind of get some of that uh, detail back onto it. So now that we have this generated, you can see it's all high res and pretty. We're just going to save this out to an OBJ. So I'm going to go up here, File, and do Export Scene As. And here it gives you an option for where you want to save it. So I'm just going to change this directory, and we're already in kind of the tree area with all my pictures. So I'm just going to label this stump and hit save. And then we're going to change the format to OBJ. And then we're going to hit OK. Now what's this doing? It's just going to export out the model and then export out the textures that correspond with the model. Now if I look in the folder that has all these trees and come down here and you can actually see the texture maps that it spits out. So it's got three of them here spitting out. So this mesh has generated three sets of textures along with it. And if you look at the size of these textures, you got 140, 96, 140, 96, and 120, 48. So you're getting a lot of texture resolution on the model, which is pretty good. So now we're going to need to take this and load it into ZBrush so we can actually turn it into something that we can use in our game engine.